Hi, I'm Amy Colt, sports dietitian at the University of Texas. Today we're talking to Keenan Robinson, former Texas Longhorn and current Washington Redskins linebacker. So Keenan, tell me a little bit about the impact nutrition has made on you as a professional athlete. Um, basically for me, um, ever since I left school, um, to go to the draft and do all that and uh, combine stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, kind of change my eating habits, my my diet, and just try to eat healthier, eat more often, and eat stuff that will fill my body throughout the day. So one of the main things that I try to change is first of all, eating breakfast. Any, anybody can do that, it's real easy. Eat breakfast, make sure you eat something that's gonna fill your body for the first you know, important few hours of your day. And usually I work out in the morning, and so I need that extra feel in the morning to feel my workout, and then that will push me through the rest of the day, you know, through lunch, through um, pre-dinner snack or whatever it is, and then that will just help the rest of my day go smooth. What would you say then to a collegiate athlete, because you've been at that level as well, mm -hmm. um, what would you say to a collegiate athlete that says, you know, man, I have six o'clock workouts, like how am I supposed to get up and eat something before that? Would you have any tips of what you do if you have a really early morning workout? Yeah, for me, um, you know, I've been through that, you know, four or five years, so for me, uh, what I would do is, you know, you probably wake up around, uh, depending on how far away the camera, you might wake up like 5, 10, 5, 20 to get here on time. Mm -hmm. um, in the morning, what you can do is, you can know, always grab a power bar or something like that. They have them, you know, in the locker room, in the weight room for the guys. Um, apple, banana, piece of fruit, and then they have bagels. They also have like the little protein shakes that have the muscle milks, the stuff that helps you um, get those quick uh, nutri nutrients that you need in order to fill your workout. You don't have to eat a lot, you know, heavy. You can save that for after your workout. And that can serve as your recovery nutrition. Too. Exactly. Right. Are there any foods that you have changed? Um, again, maybe from when you were a collegiate athlete to, to now and just avo completely avoid? Do you believe in trying to avoid certain foods? Um, yeah, I mean, it's hard for me. Um, I love Whataburger. <laughs> I used to eat Whataburger all the time in college. I try to uh, eat a lot of turkey. I eat more ground turkey than mm -hmm. um, hamburger meat. You know, ground turkey has become an option that's it's tastier and it's healthier for you. And so you can, you know, eat the same thing. You make ground turkey burgers, ground turkey and your lasagna, ground mm -hmm. turkey and whatever you you know, you, you usually substitute, you know, hamburger meat for. So that's something that I've done a lot of. And of course, chicken, I love chicken, baked chicken. Uh, I don't eat a lot of fried chicken, but baked chicken's always been something that I probably eat once or twice a day. I always call it, talk, call it clean burning fuel. Mm -hmm. You're just gonna notice that it burns better, that you feel better, you have more energy during your workouts, you have more energy during practice, you feel like that you can hit the next workout that harder, because you have that clean burning fuel versus things that are high in, you know, fried foods mm -hmm. or really um, high in sugar content maybe doesn't feel quite as good whenever you're trying to hit that next workout. Exactly. Is that what you found to be true or are you trying to do it more for body composition um, or what's your main motivation? For me it's both, you know, um, like you said, you notice the fat mean stuff as the fried foods and other things that are not so much healthy for your body, those kind of weigh on you whenever you had to perform well, whether it's in practice or an event competition. And so for me, just eliminating those things not only help yourself when you look in the mirror, you know, but help you, you know, perform better as an athlete. Any food that you just can't live without? Sweets. Sweet. That's one of the hardest things. I always have to have sweets, and I try to go, uh, try to put a day or two between the time I, have, I eat, you know, eat something. So I don't always eat like a full candy bar, but the mini candy bars uh, I do eat. It's um, a good way to moderate. Yeah. Let's see, I, I love mangoes and fruit, so that's an easy way to get my sweets in, but you know, sometimes it's hard to stay away from candy, so that's one time I do eat candy every now and then, but I try to keep it in moderation. I hear you saying, again, you're kind of paying attention to when you're doing it, mm -hmm. and then just really enjoying it, just enjoying a small portion. Exactly. It's really important to do that, too, because so many people try to be too perfect, mm -hmm. and then they fall off and find themselves just in the candy, eating exactly. too much of it, so exactly. it's a great way to moderate from time to time. Exactly. Yeah, great. Well, thank you so much for your time. No problem. <laughs> Good to see you. Yes, ma'am, you All too. All right, welcome. Yeah. <laughs>